With the unwavering determination and strength of spirit, Park So Dam emerged victorious in her battle with cancer. Be it through her short film, No More No Less, in 2013, or her portrayal of the demon-possessed high school student in the 2015 movie The Priests, or even her Oscar-winning, globally acclaimed 2019 movie Parasite. So Dam has been demanding the attention of her viewers worldwide. Her career came to a shocking halt recently when she was devastatingly diagnosed with cancer. How did she defy all odds to emerge triumphant against this deadly disease? This is how Park So Dam beat cancer like a boss. No discussion regarding Park So Dam will ever exclude legendary director Bong Joon Ho's 2019 hugely successful dark comedy, Parasite. The Jessica jingle in the film made it to movie lovers all over the world and hence catapulted So Dam to stardom. Jessica, why don't I Illinois? The movie also took her to the Cannes Film Festival, where it won its highest accolade, the Palme d'Or as well as the Academy Awards, where it became the first non-English language film to ever win the Best Picture Award. Parasite won big even at the Golden Globe Awards, the BAFTA Awards, and the Screen Actors Guild Awards. While Park So Dam is primarily known for her stellar work in multiple other movies like The Silenced, Snow Paths, and Fukuoka, she has also worked in dramas like My First Time, Beautiful Mind, Cinderella and the Four Nights, and her latest 2020 drama, Record of Youth. In 2021, So Dam was filming for a movie called Phantom when she first realized that her work was causing her serious anxiety issues. A spy thriller set in the days of the Japanese occupation, filming for Phantom was a grueling experience, and hence she assumed that she was just tired and going through a psychological and physical burnout. She managed to pull through and finish not only the movie, but its post-production dubbing as well. In December 2021, Sodam's agency, Artist Company, issued a statement to the media announcing her diagnosis of papillary cancer of the thyroid, which was found during a regular health checkup. The thyroid is a gland at the base of the neck that produces hormones to regulate the heart, body temperature, weight, and blood pressure. Usually, a cancer in the thyroid develops because of a change in the DNA of the cells, causing an accumulating mass of cells with prolonged life, as compared to the healthy cells that die naturally over time. The papillary thyroid cancer is one of the most common thyroid cancers, which most affects people below the age of 40 and typically targets women. Most of these cases are small tumors that can be treated. Further, in the same statement, artists the company also mentioned that Sodam has already undergone surgery and is on the road to recovery. The statement went on to express her disappointment at not being able to participate in promotional activities for her then-upcoming movie, Special Driver. Choosing to focus on her recovery and personal health, Park Sodam took a break from her professional life for about a year. After the completion of her treatment, Park Sodam is said to have taken herself on vacation across Europe. She visited Spain, Switzerland, and the United Kingdom in addition to chasing the Northern Lights in Iceland. In May 2022, she made her first public appearance in six months as a presenter at the Big Song Arts Award. Since her surgery had kept her away from promoting Special Driver, she took this opportunity to thank everyone for their continued love and support for her, as well as for the movie, and was met with resounding applause from the audience at the venue. Interestingly, the show was hosted by her co-star from Record of Youth, Park Bo Kum, as his first public appearance since being discharged from the military at the end of April 2022. Through her break year, Sodam continued to post special behind-the-scenes moments from her 2022 movie Special Delivery on her Instagram in addition to other regular posts. Dedicated fans continuously look to her comment section to express both worry and relief. Park So Dam attended the 58th Grand Bell Awards or the Daejong International Film Awards in December 2022. The picture of health and serenity So Dam took to the red carpet in a pristine blue ball gown. Among one of the best dressed celebrities there, she gave off extremely princessy vibes. More recently, Park So Dam reunited with a cast of the makers of the movie Phantom at a press conference for the promotion of its release. This is her first work-related activity since her diagnosis and eventual recovery. Phantom is a movie that she was filming when her symptoms first arose. The movie was held up due to the outbreak of COVID-19 and has finally been released in South Korea in January 2023.
updating everyone about her present health condition. She said that while she isn't perfectly healthy yet, she is definitely cancer-free now and only has to manage her hormones to keep their levels steady. Recalling her time a year ago, she realizes the amount of progress she has made from not being able to speak right after her surgery to now successfully attending a press conference for her movie. Thanking her co-star in the movie, Lee Na Hee, Soda mentioned that she received a lot of motivation from the senior star through the tough times she faced during filming. Additionally, she also expressed her gratitude at having had the opportunity to work with supportive senior actors like Sol Kyung-gu, Park Hae-soo, and Seo Hyun-woo, as well as the film's director, Lee Hae-young. In an interview, Saw Dam recalled feeling shocked as well as scared when she first received her diagnosis. Always looking out for the silver lining, she took it in her stride and utilized the time to look back on herself and reflect. She said that earlier, she never understood when people asked her to slow down down but instead continued working without a lot of breaks. However, her diagnosis brought about a change in both her pace of life and her perspective as well. She realized that the lesson she has to learn here is that she needs to remain healthy if she desires to continue working and doing what she loves. She also noted that while she always insisted that her fans take care of themselves and stay healthy, she herself failed to do so. Marking her 10th year in the entertainment industry in 2023, Park So Dam promised to take better care of herself. Thinking back to her European vacations, she has realized that the fans she met along the way genuinely cared for her. She also reasons that since she worried a lot of people due to her sudden illness, she is going to be more active in the future. Over the Lunar New Year weekend in January 2023, Park So Dam took to her Instagram to share a hateful message she had received. Roughly translated, the sender had commented on her apparent hideous looks and sent ill wishes her way. So Dam also shared a bunch of older messages from the same sender, making it clear that she has been receiving hate specifically since she bagged a lead role in Record of Youth. In her true style, Park So Dam clapped back at her hater with heavy sarcasm. She began by thanking the sender for visiting her account in the new year and went on to wish them a happy new year, also adding that she will be saving the messages she received. We definitely love a sassy queen now, don't we? Hopefully, the threat of using legal action will ensure that the hater does not return. Park So Dam has graced television scenes and the silver screen with numerous memorable performances in the past decade. While we will never truly be able to master the Jessica jingle, we sure can perfectly imitate the doorbell at the end. Not just as fans, but as an appreciation of her talent, we are always looking forward to watching not just Phantom, but everything else that Saw Dam will be a part of as well. Here's hoping she continues to remain healthy, wise, and sassy.